सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द नाइनटीन चैलेंज इन थर्टी डेज और एक जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो हियर कैन सी वी हैव अनदर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट विच इज आवर टास्क इज टू क्रिएट अ रिएक्ट कैरोजल कंपोनेंट यूजिंग फंसल कंपोनेंट्स एंड रिएक्ट होक्स द कैरोजल शुड बी केपेबल ऑफ डिस्प्लेइंग अ सीरीज ऑफ इमेज इन अ सिक्वेंसल मैनर अलाउंग यूजर्स टू नेविगेट टू द नेक्स्ट एंड प्रीवियस पेजेज एडिशनली द कैरोजल शुड सपोर्ट ऑटोमेटिक स्लाइडिंग वेयर द इमेज इज चेंज ऑटोमेटिकली आफ्टर ए स्पेसिफाई टाइम इन ट्रेवल सो वी हैव टू बिल्ड अ क्राउजल कंपोनेंट यूजिंग रिएक्ट होक्स एंड फंसल कंपोनेंट सो इफ यू न्यू टू माई चैनल मेक सी डेट यू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो डैट यू डोंट मिस दॉसम वीडियोज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल क्रिएट रिएक्ट एरो फंसल कॉम्पोनेंट एक्सपोर्ट एंड वी विल नीड टू थिंग्स वन इज़ अ यू स्टेट फॉर मैनेजिंग द स्टेट ऑफ द इमेज एंड वन इज़ अ यूज अफेक्ट okay for the automatic sliding so now we will create one array which is image urls and it will be a array of urls so i will go to my chrome browser and i will navigate to unsplash.com so you can use this website for high quality png images and all so i will go to the orientation and i will make the landscape so now i am seeing one image so first one i will use this image open image is new tab and you just copy this url come back to the code and paste it like this and we need two other images so here one is this i will use this सेम आई विल कॉपी दिस यू आर एल कम बैक टू माई कोड पेस्ट इट इन द स्ट्रिंग फॉर्मेट नाउ अगेन आई नीड वन मोर इमेज सो आई एम सींग या दिस वन सो आई विल क्लिक ऑन ओपन इमेज इन न्यू टैब आई विल कॉपी दिस लिंक अगेन कम बैक टू माई कोड पेस्ट इट ईयर and now in the return statement i will call one component which is carousel and i will pass one prop which is images and inside images i will pass the image urls basically now i will create this component const carousel react arrow functional component and i have to destructure the image urls so i will write images and now i will create one state for getting the current index so i will write current index and set current index initially it will be zero and after that i will create two function one is for the next slide and another one is for the previous slide so it will be arrow function i will update the final state set current index from previous index previous index plus 1 and percentage images dot length so it will increment the image from the first index so now same i will copy this function i will write previous slide so here i have to make some modification so from here i will check previous index if equal to equals to 0 then images dot length minus 1 and if not then previous index minus 1 so that is something so now i will return one jsx and inside i will write some custom html give class name to landing section now i will write div dot row dot container and inside i will write div dot landing div 
I will create two button one for the next one for the previous slide I will give the class name btn btn primary I will copy this button paste it here this will be the next give on click to previous slide and for the next I will give on click next slide now between these two buttons I will give one image and inside source I will write images current index and now modify the alt basically so I will write slide dollar current index plus one and I will give the class name also landing image so now after saving this file if I navigate to my server which is localhost challenge 19 you will see something like this we have the next and previous when I will click on the next it will increment the index basically and the image will get changed and same if I click on the previous the index will get decreased and the images will get changed again so that is something now we have to implement one more functionality which is automatic slide change so we can implement by use effect so we will write use effect and inside use effect we will write const interval id we will use set interval from the javascript it will be a callback function and inside i will call the next slide okay function so what it will does whenever the component will get re-rendered by the use effect it will call the next slide and i have to define the timing also so i will write 1000 millisecond and then to avoid the memory leak also we will return the cleanup function so we will write clear interval and we will pass this interval id in that and in the dependency array i will pass the current index so whenever the current index will get changed it will re-render the use effect and with the help of use effect it will call the next slide again after 1000 milliseconds so that is something and now after saving this file you can see in every 1000 millisecond our images get changed so that is something you can implement this and uh, and also if i click on the next button then also the image will get changed so yeah this is it we have implemented our functionality so you can also modify this part of code you can add some more logic and uh, you can try enhancing the css and the user experience basically and also from the functionality perspective also you can modify this part of code so yeah that is something and if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any doubt regarding this so let me know in the comment section and till then thank you for watching